We've anxiously awaited through the long cold winter, but now the time has come. The day has arrived for us to get out there. We're beginning our season long tour of Colorado by going someplace we've never been before. And if you like bizarre and eccentric, you're gonna like this. Oh, oh, I was fine till I looked down. Bizarre Colorado. This is rather terrifying. <laughs> the season has begun. Join us. There's so many ways to It is May the 7th of 2023, which can mean only one thing. It is time, finally, the day has arrived for us to get out there. We got a little bit later of a start this year. Past two years, we started like around the end of April. But uh, this year, yeah, we started in May because uh, we're waiting for it to get a little bit warmer before we go where we're going because we're going into the mountains. Uh, it may be nice and warm down here in the plains, but in the mountains, it is still cold. So I hope I packed accordingly. That's gonna be the whole theme of everything we do this year. We are visiting everything Colorado. Well, not everything, but we're just doing Colorado. This whole season is going to be dedicated to making, uh, making you fall in love with Colorado, because we already love it. We're gonna be visiting places we've already been, and we're gonna be seeing lots of new places that we've never been. So, I mean, I've only pretty much lived here all my life and there's so much that I haven't seen. And we're gonna take you guys with us. Today, like I said, we're heading in the mountains, but we're going someplace special. We're going someplace special today because it's not just Europe that has castles. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. Today, we're in search of an iconic Colorado masterpiece. You can hardly call yourself a resident of Colorado if you haven't been here. Yes, and you heard me right, I haven't been here before, so that changes today. Until today, I was lame. All right, guys, we are deep in the mountains. We found something. It's been here for as long as I can remember, and I've never seen it. I'm talking about castles. Castles up here in the mountains. That's Bishop Castle there, guys. One guy built this himself and built it over decades, just adding more onto it. It's kind of a, a legendary oddity of Colorado way up here in San Isabel Forest. Meet Jim Bishop. Back in 1969, he started building a stone cabin for his family and basically never stopped. His imagination simply took over, and over the course of the last 50 plus years, it has turned into this behemoth. Every stone and every spire was laid in place by one man, Jim Bishop. And yep, he's still working on it even to this day. It's the passion project to end all passion projects, and it's completely free, however, they do have a donation bucket, so show some love. You must read this sign before entering. Must. This is so great. We are not responsible for your physical, mental, or emotional well-being. We reserve the right to freedom of speech and expression. I love this place. You might experience foul language. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. I didn't realize this thing was so big. One guy built all this? This is insane. I can't see anything. Yeah. Oh man, people are doing this shit that they told them not to do. Tagging. People suck. Whoa. I didn't know Betty Boop was an angel.
That could be fatal. I think the main theme is, if you come here, don't be an idiot. Yep. Ooh, let's climb another grand staircase. Is this gonna hold my fat ass? Oh my goodness. was fine till I looked down. Oh. <laughs> Is there a way to get higher in here? Oh, there's more stairs. Oh, let's go up. Let's just keep going up. Oh my God. Okay, I'm kind of getting a little Yeah, I think that's high enough for me. I am. I ain't liking this. <laughs> no. That's all right. Maybe this one won't be quite as terrifying. How far up does it go? It goes way up there. All right, let's go up. It's a little narrow, but... Handrails. Yes, exactly. How's it going? Whew. I thought that one was fun. Take that oh, one no. all the way to the top. No, that's all right. This is rather terrifying. <laughs> but what a view. Watch the boards here, for real. That's good, good. Uh, there's, there's certain elements of it that are sketches crap, like right there, those yeah. boards. But I'm sure it's fine. fine I mean, that's... Hundreds of people come up here all the time. I know. But well, and that's kind of what to be expected. That's in like a situation. My thing is, and everybody who's watched the videos know, I'm not big on heights. Even though I'm standing on basically steel grating, about uh, probably a hundred feet above the ground, it's a uh, exhilarating. No. It's scary. It's, it's, scary. Scary. it's yeah, we're going back down. I'm done. Yeah, bro. I just want to feel solid ground under my feet again. Oh, that was wild. This should be immediately categorized under bizarre Colorado, but cool. Well, that was fun. Bishop Castle up here somewhere in Custer County, Colorado. Couldn't tell you what the closest town is because I don't even know. That was cool. Scary, exhilarating. Hopefully y'all will be a little braver than me, but there's a reason why they put that warning up there that we're not responsible if you hurt yourself. There's at least a hundred ways to die here. A fun fact that I think I should interject here, nobody has ever died here. But my big takeaway from Bishop Castle is that this place is not only an experience for the eyes, but for the body and soul as well. Exploring this place definitely gets the blood flowing. But don't worry, my emotional well-being is fine. Oh, anyway, back to the room. Working our way through a road I've never been down before, so here we go. Adventuring to places we've never been. And douchebags, they're up here too. <laughs> Look at them all. Yeah, it's like double yellow. Why did I die today? I don't know. Uh, oh, douchebag number four. Passing on a double yellow line. That's okay. They're having fun. I'm going, oh I'm going entirely too slow for them. Them young whippersnappers! Hey! <laughs> get off my lawn! Well, hello everybody. We are up here at the Mount Shivano or Shivano Peak. I don't remember which one. One of the two KOA journey. Kind of up here just a little bit west of Salida. And this, we are just taking it in on our first night out on the road once again for 2023. Everything around here looks like it's right out of a Bob Ross painting. The only thing I have to complain about so far is the wind. Woo! 
it's a little bit blowy up here. Clearly, this campground's empty. The tourist season hasn't really started yet. I'm going to be kind of trying a new dynamic this year because with everything going on in the world these days, I've been kind of going through a bit of a revival of my faith. I mean, I don't know if you've watched the news lately, but the world's gone plum loco, crazy. Well, my answer to that is to continue doing what I've been doing. Because out here, the people you meet in these campgrounds, the people you meet at the destinations you go, aren't crazy. Well, save LA. California was a little weird, but you know, we're not gonna get into that. So I'm kind of diving back into my faith. Now, don't worry. I'm not going to get political on this channel ever. And I won't be preachy either. But you will be seeing me thank the big man upstairs a lot more for the time I have to be able to get out here. So while the rest of the world is going crazy, I'm going to be keeping my sanity out here as much as humanly possible. And I invite you guys to come along with us. I appreciate your support. Now, it's time to settle in for a night's rest. And start it all again tomorrow. Peace. Super cheap and easy for the first night. Just man, some potato soup, sandwich, some chips. It's good stuff, right? Just chill. Warm the bones because it's a little chilly out there. And so as per usual, another star lapse means another close to another fine day. But y'all, we've barely gotten started here. So of course that means... That's beautiful. It's gonna look even better from the air. Welcome to Black Canyon of the Gunnison, guys. Ooh, contemporary petroglyphs. Holy shit. That is pretty impressive. There's the names I was telling you about. Pegmatite and nice, nice. So here's the part of the program where I tell you, you don't need an RV to do any of this. If you've got the cojones to climb around a Bishop Castle, then you're well equipped to pitch a tent somewhere in the woods. So get out there, y'all. And until the next time, as always, safe travels, happy camping, and cheers.